Mm -hmm. Okay, KD2YDP. This is our heat pump project for the house. It's basically central air conditioning, but instead of taking the thermal radi uh, the thermal energy out of the house and blowing it out into the atmosphere from a condenser coil, air driven, I have pool water coming in from outside. Okay. Now that pool water goes through a strainer, that's a really a modified uh, whole house filtration system for sediment. I had uh, used a piece of inch and a quarter pipe, similar to the fish tank situation. Uh, just drilled it out, put a screen on it to drop, prevent large particles from coming in, getting jammed up in the pump impeller. All right, so this is 16,000 BTU. This is 110 volt. I thought I ordered a 220 volt, but it came in 110, 115, whatever. Um, I wanted to do 220, but I'm not dissatisfied with the 115. All right, I have this sized out for three small bedrooms in the house, but right now I have this cooling the whole house. Uh, on an 80 degree day, I'm able to maintain 70 degrees in the house, which is comfortable. Uh, I might even just keep this and put a mixing box on the ductwork that changes the airflow to the three bedrooms at night and then goes back to uh, the living areas common areas in the house during the day. When this thing is running, I'm drawing about 12 amps, okay? This pump here uh, is pushing at about 120 gallons a minute. Uh, I verified this yesterday, all right? So this is vacuum. This is getting sucked in from the pool through the strainer into the bottom of the heat exchanger, out of the top of the heat exchanger into the suction side of the pump. The discharge side of the pump is pumping the water at a pressure unknown, but it's not that high. Um, I'm able to squeeze the hose. I'm not at risk of popping anything. But this is pumping out at about 120 gallons a minute at a temperature of approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll go outside. I'm going to show you what I'm doing as a prototype to increase the thermal load going out to the pool. Because I want the hotter hottest water available to go out into the pool to bring up the BTUs in the pool as a uh, makeshift pool heater, if you will. Okay, so we're taking the BTU energy out of the house and we're putting it in the pool. So we're killing two birds with one stone, being any energy efficient. All right, real quick, before we move out to the pool, this is the control panel. This unit here was actually designed to work on a boat. So everything, all the finishes on this are really friendly towards corrosion resistance. And uh, you'll see that it's mounted a little bit on an angle. And the reason being is because I don't want any water to sit stagnant in the drain pan. The condensed water, I want it to run out through the hose, into the uh, condensate pump, and out of the house. In the future, I might even take that condensate and repurpose it before just dumping it into the uh, garden over here. I might put it in like a cistern and then use that for the sprinkler system also. Right? This is the control panel. Very tight, very, very organized. I like it a lot. This is the thermostat. This has got three settings. It's got cooling, dehumidification, and this is also a heat pump too. So if I want to throw heat in the house, I could pull some BTU energy out of the pool and put it into the house uh, if I wanted to. But that's, that's not why I built this thing. Okay? Uh, right now it's set for cool at 72 degrees. This will stop. Uh, Presser will stop, the fan will keep going at a low setting, it's set on automatic, uh, just keep air circulating through the house. What I'm also going to do is I'm probably going to box this out as a room, <clears throat> so my return air could either be from the return on the air conditioning system supply, or I could open up this window and use that as free cooling, so when the temperature drops low enough at night, I could use that air and bring it into the house without having to run the compressor. That's that for now. Okay, so out by the pool side, this is the discharge hose for the, uh, the pump, the discharge side of the pump coming through the uh, heat exchanger. The temperature of that water coming out is uh, approximately 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I have the pool right now at 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to get better um, temperature reading. I have better equipment coming to monitor the temperature. This is a little ghetto, but we're just trying to figure out that this thing is working okay. So we have about 80 degrees coming out of the heat exchanger, going through this coiled hose that's in the sunlight, pulling up the sun's thermal energy, 
and it's raising the temperature by about 10 degrees. So this is working well too. We're gonna to clean this up a little bit. And this is the uh, backyard of a thousand project, so it's a little bit messy, but uh, we got better things to do right now than to worry about that. So there you go, people. You're bringing the thermal energy out of the house, you put it in the pool, you're picking up some of the uh, thermal energy from the sun, you're putting it in the pool. So I would have to say this project is pretty much a success. Proof, proof of concept once again. Um, I like to see success every once in a while. And uh, we'll catch you when this is all neatened up. Okay, KD2YBP, clear for now.